YouTube, what up? Welcome to the channel, everybody. We're looking at the AIM uh, DualShock PS4 controller today. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. Um, first off, I was really stoked with the graphic on the cover, faceplate, whatever you want to call it. The V face mask, uh, V from Vendetta guy, anonymous guy, whatever you want to call him. It's dope. The buttons on the bottom are pretty sick. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with this controller. Uh, I was playing with the scuff for a minute and I sent it back, ordered this thing. Um, it's basically, it's a, it's a dual shock four, um, with the added buttons on the bottom. So it's a little bit cheaper then the scuff, some of the scuff controllers. Um, and this one I did not get fully customized from AIM. Uh, probably, I think would have been a bit more money to do all that. Um, I ordered this pre-configured as you see it straight from Amazon. And I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna check it out there. Um, so, uh, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the controller. Um, one of the downsides is that I have pretty big hands, and I think this controller is probably better suited to people with smaller hands. But more on the review after we run through the setup real quick. So I got the drivers from github.com, um, and I downloaded the J2 Kings version, uh, as you can see here, 1.4.52. There may be a newer one if you're watching this, you know, months or years after I've uploaded the video, obviously. So download the most current version. Once the um, drivers are downloaded, uh, this is downloaded in a zip file, so you need to extract it. Um, so that's what we're doing next here. Extract all. And I generally just extract it to the downloads folder. Um, so I can just delete all that stuff later once it's installed. So um, I already had it installed. I just wanted to go through the install process so you guys could see how it's done. So I'm opening the app here so you can take a look at it. This app is completely com customizable. Um, you can do all kinds of um, different op you know, configurations with your controller. Everything from dial in, dialing in your... Um, your uh, dead zone to um, adjusting different colors on your light bar for um, battery life, etc., etc. Um, all kinds of features on here that you can play around with. Sensitivity. Um, you can reconfigure your buttons. Um, just about anything you want to do uh, with this. With your controller, this um, a this application will do it. It's it's pretty it's pretty good. So I highly recommend it for any DualShock controller, actually, for PS4 controllers. Space, the final frontier. All right, it's review time. So let's get into it. The looks are awesome. The graphic on the faceplate with the uh, the anonymous guy V from Vendetta, great stuff. And there are a ton of different options for custom faceplates. Also, the finish on there is good. The feel of the controller is good all the way around. It's a little smooth because I didn't get the uh, the custom ordered. Um, you know, straight from AIM to where I could put the grippy stuff on there. I didn't get all that, so it's a little too smooth for my liking. But, you know, to correct that, order directly from AIM and customize everything, and you can add the grip 
uh, the added grip to the to the back side of the controller. Um, the joysticks feel great. Um, as far as I know, they're all standard. Um, it's just a standard PS4 DualShock controller. Um, I don't know that they've, in this case, that they really upgraded anything there. Um, the triggers um, are nice and crisp. Uh, all the buttons function great. No problems with any of them. The touchpad works great. Um, I don't really use the touchpad for much, so I just disabled it as a touchpad and I use it as a button. The controller plays really nice. Like the, you know, controls are smooth. It's highly adjustable uh, with that application with DS4 uh, Windows. Um, I mean, I can you can fine tune the controller all day with all kinds of different settings on there. I haven't gone to great lengths to really dial anything in. Right now I'm working on bumping up my sensitivity. So I've been playing where I kind of bump up my sensitivity a couple, you know, one or two, kind of one point at a time. Now that I've gotten it up a ways, you can see by my movements that it's, that my sensitivity is pretty high. And so I'm still trying to dial that in. Um, so I haven't really fine-tuned the controller settings much yet because I'm, again, just trying to uh, get better at the faster movements. So, but I feel like uh, there's great control with this controller. Um, I do have a um, control freak, you know, uh, extension on the right stick um, and I feel like that gives me better aiming control um, you can get the extended sticks from you know if you order directly from aim um, I just I kind of like the control free because then I can take it off if I want to for other games or whatever um, that aren't necessarily first person shooter the uh let's talk about the buttons on the bottom which obviously are the um you know the biggest feature of the aim so i like and i don't like the location on these and i'll and i'll tell you why i let i love the where they're located because they're right on your fingers but also i don't like that they're right on your fingers <laughs> so um I'll get more into that. The, uh, I mean, it's great because while you're playing, you know, you get you got those buttons just locked in right on your fingers. Um, so it's obviously great to uh, be able to just bam, bam, hit the buttons. But if you um, aren't aware of what you're doing and you squeeze on the controller, you're going to inadvertently press buttons, which sometimes is actually helpful when you do the accidental drop shot and you smoke your opponent because you got the drop on him, you know what I mean? But not so great if you accidentally weapon swap or reload while you're in combat. So um, that probably isn't as big of a problem with somebody with smaller hands than me. I got pretty big hands because I'm a big dude. Uh, and so um, I would guess like if you had smaller hands... Um, it would be easier to grip the controller without squeezing those buttons. Um, but I sometimes have a diff difficult time, uh, especially like in intense situations where you just kind of naturally squeeze the controller. It's easy to squeeze those buttons. So if you are going to get one of these, just be aware of that, that um, there's, you really got to pay attention to what you're doing with those bottom fingers because of where those buttons are positioned, I mean, they're just, they're underneath your fingers and there's no way around that, you know? Um, whereas some of the other controllers, like the Scuff Prestige I played with, um, the Impact, those, you kind of have to reach for the buttons a little bit so they're not directly on your fingers. Um, so, you know, obviously there's pros and cons to, uh, to different button configurations. The pros of that, you know, 
where they are on this controller is that they're right on your fingers, so you don't have to reach for them. The, you know, obviously the, the downside to that is that if you um, aren't in control of your fingers constantly, you might accidentally hit them. So um, just something you have to be aware of and be used to uh, get used to, to playing with, with that in mind. Um, so other than that, um, the buttons are all really crisp. Um, especially the bottom ones. I mean, they're real crisp. Um, they've got a nice, uh, short throw to them. Crispy response. They're just clicky clicky. Um, all the rest of the buttons pretty much just are standard dual shock fours. Um, the, I'm not sure if I'm real impressed with the battery life on this controller, it seems a little bit short, but that could have just been because I had the um, the LED light bar configured to display uh, a color based on my battery life from one to a hundred. And so that light was on all the time. And I think that may have been uh, draining the battery prematurely. Um, so I reconfigured it to, and, and when I had it that's that set up that way, it seemed like the battery was lasting about six to eight hours. Um, since I've reconfigured it uh, to only turn on when the controller is down to about 5% battery life, then I just have it flash and stay on red to let me know that, hey, the battery's almost dead. It seems to last way longer. Um, I haven't had any issue with it dying and I haven't seen that light come on yet. So, and, and I've left it, um, uncharged and played with it for well over 10 hours. Um, so I'm pretty sure that that's what was, uh, accelerating the, um, the battery life issue, you know? So keep that in mind if you're tuning um, playing around with that um, light display that, uh, you know, you might be shortening your battery life. Um, but overall, I am I'm pretty happy with my purchase on this controller. I think I'll probably hang on to this one for a while. Um, the more I play with it, the more I get used to where the, the bottom buttons are and the happier... I am with their use. Um, I still catch myself sometimes reaching over uh, to the top buttons generally for um, weapon swap. I kind of I, I kind of default to that top uh, weapon swap button. Um, obviously, that's has to do with um, the way that I have uh, my button layout configured, but um, I'm trying to break myself of that habit and just use the bottom buttons. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I have any much else to add on this. Um, it's a, uh, obviously it's a cheaper option than going with some of the, some of the competitors, which I was kind of happy with. And overall, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything um, by by buying this controller being a cheaper option, other than some of the maybe the customizable options directly from AIM. Like I said, the uh, I would like to have the rubberized grip on the bottom because the controller is a little slippery in my hands. Um, and so I think in the future I might go ahead and, and order a customized one, or maybe I'll, um, get something in a spray can that I can kind of rubberize it. Um, but other than that, obviously we didn't win this game. No fault of the aim controller. Thanks for watching guys. That's all I got for this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section. I'm happy to respond to your questions. And with that, I will say happy gaming.